Hello everyone, I am Abhul Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Chhatrapati Shivaji Institute of Technology from the Chhattisgarh. Today I am going to give a presentation on the topic An Integrated Framework for Software Development Using Risk Mitigation and Conflict Resolution. The contents of the presentation are as follows Abstract, Introduction, Literature Review, Problem Identification, Methodology, Conclusion and References. Let us begin with the abstract. As we know that software crisis was once dominant in the field of software engineering, but with the advent of software development lifecycle models, this problem has been reduced to certain extent. But still, there are many software projects that fail, either in terms of its features or in terms of the time deadline. Using the concept of software development lifecycle, we can reduce this failure rate. Now, in this project, we will be using the concept of risk mitigation and conflict resolution to enhance the performance of software development lifecycle model. Coming to the introduction, the main aim of the software development lifecycle model is to reduce the unexpected output at the end of the project. Basically, there are two types of software development lifecycle model approaches, one traditional approach for instance, so waterfall model, spiral model, incremental model, etc. And the other one is the agile approach. These, both of these approaches are useful under certain circumstances and they can be better in terms of the different scenarios. Now, let me give the introduction to risk. As we know, risk is a potential problem and it might occur and it might not. So always there is a term probability associated with the occurrence of the risk and hence we need to deal with it in a very careful manner. Suppose the probability of occurrence of a risk is very less and we have put a, a huge amount of effort to avoid or cure that risk. In that case that effort would go in vain if that risk will not occur. Hence we need to be careful while dealing with risks. Now the Different types of risks could be project risk, business risk, technical risk, etc. Now let me introduce you to conflict. What is a conflict? Conflict is actually just getting in contradiction with different views. The reason of conflict could be poorly defined goals, lack of cooperation or trust, unclear roles or lack of job description and the consequences of a conflict within a software organization could be the following is stress, absenteeism, it can be staff turnover or people not giving up their best which they could have given if the conflict would not have occurred. Now that's why we need to take care of these two factors risk and conflict while making the software. Now let us consider what will be the parameters for evaluating the performance of a software development lifecycle model. These parameters are whether the software is delivered within the time deadline or not. Next is the quality of the software. Next, if there is any budget overrun associated with the software. And the next one is how much value addition it is giving to the existing knowledge base of the software company. Now, these three are the basic papers that are available in the literature. One is by Basit Shahzad, Trivial Model for Mitigation of Risk and the problem in this paper was there is no trade-off between the analysis regarding the cost of the risk and the damage caused by it. Next is by Janus Kusen, Extended Risk Analysis Model for Activities of the Project. Again, it is a general model but there is no provision for integrating it effectively with the software development lifecycle model. The next paper is regarding the conflict by Conrad Villand. In this paper, the win-win approach to resolve a conflict has been proposed, but again the limitation of this paper is there is no provision of integrating it with software development lifecycle. Now let us see what is the problem, that is problem identification. The main problem is various models are there for mitigating risks and resolving conflicts, but none of them has been properly indicated in an integrated manner as a part of software development lifecycle till now. Now the methodology of this project or this research paper basically consists of the traditional phases of software right from planning requirements scheduling till 
deployment of the project and maintenance but the additional factor is of the risk mitigation and conflict resolution that is included after each and every step of this life cycle. Now the risk exposure is calculated using the following formula. Risk exposure is equal to probability of occurrence of risk multiplied by the cost that is the negative effect the risk would have caused if it would have become the reality. So on the basis of the values of risk exposures let us consider one example. Suppose we are having three different risks. We will calculate risk exposure for risk 1, 2 and 3. And if the risk exposure for risk number 2 is maximum, in that case risk number 2 will be given the highest priority. So we will prioritize the risks on the basis of the values of their risk exposures. This is the flow diagram of mitigating the risks that will be used in the research paper. We need to identify the risk, estimate it, its impact, then we need to document it, access it using the formula risk exposure equals to P into C. Then we need to prioritize it using the value of their risk exposures and then we need to finally control those risks. Now next is the methods of dealing with conflicts. There could be various approaches as you can see. Competition is there which is a win-lose approach. Avoidance and compromise both are lose-lose approach and collaboration is a win-win approach. Win-win approach means the both the stakeholders which we are having the conflict at the end both of them will be satisfied. This is the meaning of win-win in this context. So this approach will be followed in this proposed methodology of the research paper. This is the exact chart that will be followed to resolve the conflicts that will arise. First we need to define and identify the parties that are indulging in conflict. Then we need to set the stage for win-win outcome. Then we need to know the interest of first party as well as the second party. For instance, in real time example of a software industry, frequently conflicts occur between the development team and the testing team. So we need to understand both of their interests and then we need to finally follow this collaborative model of conflict resolution so that both of them will be satisfied. Now this is the final flow diagram of the proposed model which consists of the normal phases of the software project right from planning till maintenance but as I have mentioned earlier after each and every phase two additional parameters have been included one of risk mitigation and another of conflict resolution so that the risk associated with each and every phase can be sorted out at that instant only and if there is any conflict after that phase then we can resolve it before proceeding to the next phase so that the damage caused by both of these could be minimized. Now the conclusion is as we have seen this integrated model for software development could be used for small scale software companies that I would like to mention only small scale software companies they can use it as a standard reference model instead of getting confused which model to opt and this will give better performance in terms of the four parameters that we have taken earlier that is the delivery of software within time deadline then the quality of the software without having much more overrun of the budget and finally the value of existing knowledge base will also increase as we have categorized risk, we have dealt with it so that in future if the company will get similar types of projects then that concept of risk can be used there. So in terms of all these four parameters this model will prove better than the existing models from the perspective of a small scale software industry. Thank you.